Tax relief could soon be coming to thousands of businesses around San Francisco. On Monday, two business leaders submitted a proposed measure that would overhaul the city's tax system. Lori Thomas, the executive director of the Golden Gate Restaurant Association, was one of those people. We know that any relief we can give, even if it's a couple thousand dollars a year to our small businesses, is a nod in the right direction. If passed by voters in November, the proposal would simplify the city's notoriously complex tax system. It would also allow small businesses with revenue under $5 million to be exempt from business taxes, up from the current level of $2 million. It's a move that proponents say it would allow for more business expansion and hiring. Almost 90% of our restaurants, 60% of our retail businesses would be completely exempt from our uh, gross receipts tax. At the Pallet Tea House in Ghirardelli Square, owner Dennis Long says he supports the proposal. Anything that can help um, small business would definitely be welcomed. Dennis says after rising in 2021 and 2022, the Pallet's business actually started to decline again last year. A contrast to the other restaurant he owns in San Mateo, where Dennis says doing business is simpler. And there's a lot of extra fees and, and here and there, here and there in San Francisco that makes winning a business more difficult or more challenging than in other cities. In order to offset the cost of the proposed tax rates, Thomas says rates would rise again in 2027. But she hopes a three-year window would allow more small businesses to recover back to their pre-pandemic levels before absorbing the additional cost. If you didn't make some of these changes, you were going to lose that money anyway. Employers might pull out. They might not bring people back to work. Now, in order to get this proposal on the November ballot, supporters will need to get about 10,000 signatures on their petition. In the studio, Tim Johns, ABC7 News.